In this video, we'll sketch orthographic views of these two blocks, that is, top, front, and side views. We'll just use a dividers and a dark lead pencil. First we'll do the top view. Find the length and width of it. We'll use the dividers to mark that distance off. We could use a scale, but we don't care about the numeric length. We just want to know how long the line is. So there's the top view minus the hole. Let's draw the front and side views before drawing the hole. Project these edges down. Draw this line, which is this line, and then measure the height. You can keep the construction lines if they're light enough. Otherwise, erase them so they're not confused with the object lines. Now project to the side, draw this line, which is this line, mark off this distance, which is this distance, which is this distance. So we've got top, front, and side view sketches. Note that all the lines of the hole are parallel to the top plane. So all of them are true length, and this is all true shape and size. So all we need to do is find the location of each point. Measure over and up up and over, down and over, over and down, over and down, down and over, over and up. So I could mark each of these distances off with the dividers, but I'm just going to eyeball their locations to save time. And that's roughly what the hole should look like. Now we need to draw it in the front and side views. That is, we need to acknowledge that the hole is there even though it can't be seen from the front and side. So project all its edges down. Make sure that the hidden lines intersect the visible lines. That is, don't leave any gaps. On the side, we're going to see this edge, this edge, and this edge. So we need to mark off this distance, this distance, and this distance. We see three edges here. For the second block, I would start with the front view because it is the most descriptive of what the block looks like. So I'll draw its height and length, and there's the front view minus all the holes. The side view is this wide, and the top view is also this wide.
Now I'm just going to freehand and estimate all these small holes. They look something like this. And then you need to project all the edges straight up. And straight over. And there you have it.